Hi, this is Rich Weekly, Borgthorpe Electric. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a ladder section and then load that section into the Unity simulator and simulate the logic. So, we're using the previous project that we created, uh, M340 Test 1. That's where we loaded the uh, processor and then we configured the Ethernet port so it's the same I'm taking the same project so I go tools project browser so we've configured the uh, IO cards and everything in this case if you haven't done that yet there's a video on on how to assign the IO cards IO cards aren't needed to build logic and simulate but I was just showing you that that's the project that we're using. So the communication, the Ethernet port's been set up and all that's been set up already. So we have a folder for program and tasks. So right now we don't have any sections under the MAST, M-A-S, which is master task. So we're going to add a programming section right underneath this task. So if I right click and say new section, so here's the different languages that I can program this. Uh, in this case, it's an M340 processor. Structured text, instruction list, function block diagram, sequential function chart, ladder, which is IEC ladder, and then 984 uh, ladder logic, which would be used just if we were converting older programs into Unity. So I have to give it a name. In this case, I'm going to select LD just for ladder. I'll give this a name. I'll just call this LA ladder section. Say OK. So once I tell it that's the language I want to use, here's it's created this section. So here's my operations up here that I can use. We won't go through all of them. If you have any specific questions about any of them, uh, and we haven't talked about it in any of the videos, give me a call and, uh, or send me an email and I can explain that to you. So in this case we're just going to make a simple little three wire circuit. So we're going to have a stop, push button, uh, we have the start, push button, we have the actual coil that's the output for the motor, and then we'll have a coil for a hold-in contact. Okay. And then we'll take those. So a simple little three-wire circuit. Now right now I've got I've put the elements down, but I haven't really assigned any variables to them. So that's the other thing that we need to do is we need to create variables for the logic. So there's a couple different ways I can do that. I can actually create the variables on the pins or on the elements as I go along if I want to. So I'll do this. I'll do the stop. I'll just say stop, push button. So that's one way I can do it. And it looks in the variable table and sees that it's not created yet. So it creates it. And then I have to give it a type. This could be either a bool or an extended bool. In this case, we're going to do a, just do a simulation for it. So we'll just leave it a bool. We'll talk about the difference of those in other videos as well. And then I hit the green check mark. If I hit the red check mark accidentally, then it's not going to create the variable for me. And I'll still see this red squiggly line underneath this, which means that the variable hasn't been created. So if I hit the green one, you'll see that squiggly line will go away and then I have my variable assigned there. And if I go and double click on variables, I see that it's created in the variable table. Okay. The other way that I can assign those uh, is I can assign them in the variable table and then select them from here. So if I go back to the variable table and let's do the start button, but this time let's actually create it in the variable table. Okay, and we'll leave it a type bool as well. And then if I go back to the ladder section, now if I double click on that and select this black or the black three dots, select that box, 
it'll go to the variable table and it'll bring up all the variables that will fit that type of that element. So there's the start push button. If I just double click on it, then it'll insert that. So I can do it from the variable table. I can do it from here. Either, either place will work fine. So let me double click on this and we'll just make this motor one. Create the variable. And then we'll assign this to motor one as well. The other thing is this drop down box. If I've typed the variable, and I know I have, then it'll keep it kind of in memory in this drop down box. So because I typed motor one over here already, I can select motor one. Okay. So there I have a simple little circuit. I can go back to tools project browser. I can see that I have these blue check marks, which means that it hasn't been compiled, compiled yet. So if I go up to build, build changes, which compiles the program or the project. So now that section is compiled. And if I want to go simulate it, to simulate this, if I go up to PLC, I have two modes. I have a standard mode and a simulation mode. Okay. And I can always tell what mode I'm in by looking at the bottom down here. Right now I'm in standard mode. And you see this green box that says USB Sys. So that's saying I'm in standard mode. And if I try to go online, it's going to use the USB port. So I want to change that. I want to go to uh, simulation mode. And this is my indication that I'm in sim simulation mode. It goes to this yellow box on the bottom. And it defaults to a TCP IP address of 127.0.0.1, which tells me I'm in simulation mode. And now when I go to connect to the PLC, we'll see this is the simulator actually starting up in the background. Now the simulator is starting up and running. If I go down here to this green arrow box, so this is the simulator. It's selected the PLC. Now there's no configuration or the configuration is invalid because right now we haven't loaded anything. So now that we have this all built, I can go ahead and write this or transfer this information to the PLC. So I'm going to transfer the project. So the, right now we would say that the simulator is in dim awareness. It's simulating a PLC that has just been taken out of the box. So we're going to transfer the logic that we did and then all some of the configurations that we've done in the other videos. So you see this background turns to a, a gray, which shows me that I'm online. Right now the processor is stopped, so I have to go up to PLC and put this in run mode. So now the PLC is running. I'm online with the the PLC simulator and I really can't tell any difference uh, that's the nice thing about this unity simulator whether I'm really online or whether I'm this on the simulator simulator it's a it's really a good practice so now if I wanted to force this logic a couple different places I can do that I can actually right click on the variable and the element so this stop button would be wired closed in the field so I can set that to a 1 to show that it's closed. Okay. Then I can actually set the value of the push button to 1. And you'll see that it simulates my motor output. And then I can put this back to 0 simulating that I've let go of the start button. And we see that it holds in. Okay. So I can simulate it right from here. The other way that I can do that is I can put these on what we call an animation table. So if I hold down my mouse key and I drag over all the elements in this logic, I select all of them. And while they're all selected, I need to go on one that is selected. If I don't, if I come out here and hit my mouse again, it deselects everything. So in order to get everything on an animation table, if I select everything and then go to one that's selected kind of in the middle, and then I can go initialize animation table. It'll take all the variables that I've selected and it'll put them on a table. 
and I can also force those values from here. So if I want to look at both at the same time, I can tile these windows. Let me close this variable window and do that again. I'm going to tile the windows. So now I'm looking at the logic, and I'm also looking at the table, and I can, then I can modify these. So if I, can, if I wanted to simulate the stop button being hit, I would change that one to a zero, enter that, and you see that the logic is released down here. So I can simulate it again, right click here, or I can simulate it up here. So, so that's a simple, that's how to build a simple ladder section and how to load that section and test it on the simulator. So if I wanted to go back offline, I would just go PLC disconnect. And we see this background changes back to a white and we're disconnected and then we can go about and simulate and test some other things. So um, that's uh, just a short video on this, adding this ladder section. Uh, we'll have some other videos of adding a function block and structured text in those sections and some simple examples and load those examples in the simulator as well. So, thank you.